Today we're gonna talk about why Lyle's Barbecue closed and what's next. Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. And before we get started, I want to emphasize that you must hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. Otherwise, you make a baby cry. Let's get into the show. I will admit it was probably a little bit my fault. I'm a special kind of lady. <laughs> chaotic today running around doing all this stuff just a lot of crap just felt like it today just would not stop would not stop would not stop all this crap just kept happening all day long thicker like crazy and that just takes a long time to deal with and she cries just listen to me and everything would be great that's all I'm saying yeah, do what your mom says. Oh. Are you kidding us? <laughs> she doesn't like being on the show. That's why it's been a week and you that's, haven't seen Julia. That's because you filmed me like first thing in the morning. <laughs> that's real life, baby. <laughs> I want to be on the professional camera. Why are we on the professional camera instead of that? Because it's already set up to shoot the next shot. It's giving away our secrets of how we make the videos, man. I look better on that camera. You know, too many people that get into business, they want to go right to being successful and they don't want to give up the they don't want to pay the price. They don't want to be a part of the process. And, you know, process is everything. You got to fall in love with the process and then be super excited when you end up scoring a victory, you know? You got to fall in love with the process. And that's what today is all process. So, we decided to open our first restaurant next to this gas station uh, strictly from a money sense. We had, you know, we had. We had very little money. We had we put about five grand into the business to start it, and we bought a tent and we started as a as a food truck down in uh, down in Lexington, and we just put all the profits back into the company over and over and over again, and eventually got enough money to where we could afford a lease on a place, but we didn't have a ton of money to build out a spot. What you got going on today? Working front of house. What do you do? Put the, the camera way. in my face. Is that what you're doing? Oh, I like the camera. Okay. I was built for the camera. <laughs> something. We don't like debt. You know, it's not something we want to really want to deal with if we can't help it. You know, it's it's debt. Unable to the inability to service debt is probably the number one reason restaurants close. You know, they. They pay all that money for the really good spot, and then they, and then they have one bad month, and then they make some decisions that are bad, and they can't. It's like a snowball effect, and then you know, six, eight months later, uh, they're out of business. It's been a while, man. I'm not gonna lie. This is. I gotta get vulnerable for a second. This is awkward and weird for me, and I've been wanting to do this video for a while. And now that I'm on the edge of doing it, I'm struggling, struggling to do it. And I have no idea why. Here's the thing, you may have noticed that I've launched a new 
podcast video show called the Channel Lyle Show. And the reason I'm doing that is because my barbecue business has closed. Lyle's Barbecue closed a couple months back, um, but I think about six months ago I knew it was coming to an end. That's why I stopped putting out videos. That's why I stopped doing things. Um, we fought as hard as we could to keep it, but it just didn't work out. And it's been a really difficult six months because when you devote your life to something for six years and you, you build it from scratch, from a tent on the side of the road to something, you know, while it's not always perfect and there was a ton of mistakes, there was also a ton of good stuff. I think about all the great times we had as a family. I think about all the great people we met and our customers. I think about all the amazing teammates we had that worked for us for so long. And it's hard. It's hard to have a chapter of your life close. Especially, it's... It is especially hard when you look back and upon reflection you realize that if you just would have done a few things differently, it would still be around. Alright, so I'm editing this video after that I shot earlier today and I realized that I never actually said what happened and why Lyle's Barbecue closed. Uh, First video I've done in a while, a little out of practice. Let me give you some context to what happened. In the beginning of 2019, we decided to get really aggressive about expansion and we tried to open a totally new restaurant named Nash's, which was a totally different concept than Lyle's Barbecue. Um, we borrowed a ton of money to do it. Ultimately, that restaurant failed because we just didn't have enough money and there was too much debt on the business. So we ended up having to bankrupt that part of the business uh, in order to keep Lyle's Barbecue afloat, but the additional cash flow problems that rippled out of that closing ended up closing Lyle's Barbecue a few months later. Uh, like I said, we did everything we could to keep it open, but it just wasn't sustainable. So the reason I included that that clip of me talking about debt, that my friend Patch and I shot that video in 2015 when we were in a gas station in Nicholasville, and had we just kept that mentality of growing slow and not being impatient, Lyle's Barbecue would still be here today. So, learn from my lessons, be patient, grow slow, uh, avoid debt in your business as much as you can. In fact, don't borrow any money to open your business, or grow it for that matter. All right, back to the video. So, I am starting something new. I have taken the time necessary to heal and to get over this failure and we're failing forward and I appreciate all you guys hanging out with me so what you can expect from this channel now that we don't have a barbecue restaurant anymore you know the restaurant videos are going away uh, the cooking videos are gonna go away but in its place we're gonna institute something that I wish I had when I started Lyle's Barbecue we're gonna start off with a weekly show called the Chandler Lyle show where we interview other successful small business owners. And I'm really doing this selfishly for me because I wanna see what they do that I didn't do so that this next business I start can actually have a chance of staying successful beyond six years. And that's another thing. We're gonna be doing a, a weekly vlog as well. Every Sunday morning at 8 a.m., the guy that made the music for this channel and I, Zach Friendly, uh, go follow him on YouTube. I've got it linked below. But he and I uh, are doing a sort of blood brother pact where we're both going to release a video on Sunday morning documenting our process for um, growing our little side hustle thing. And I'm really excited about that project because let me tell you something. I have zero idea what new business I'm going to start. I have zero idea what I want to do. I have zero idea how we're going to do it. The one thing I wish I had were videos when my family and I were first starting Lyle's Barbecue. Those early meetings, those early doubts, how we overcame them. We have zero videos from the gas station days. Uh, we have a ton of videos starting out from our first 
real brick and mortar location, um, but we still didn't have enough. And I wish for posterity's sake, I had those videos still. So I hope that you are into this new direction. I hope that you enjoy these new videos. I'm making them for anybody that owns a small business or wants to own a small business one day. Um, just come along for a ride and see what story unfolds. I definitely need to take a second to do the obligatory YouTube thing. Please subscribe if you haven't, and please hit the bell for notifications. Guys, I gotta say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for every, for all the support for the last five years, six years, oh my gosh. It meant the world to me. It still means the world to me, and your support for this new thing I'm doing, if you decide to stick around, is gonna mean the world to me too. So, see you guys next week. Peace. And even though I didn't feel like making this video today, I found a way to get it done. I just had to get a little help. That's it. Just keep going. Just keep trying. And even if it's not your best work, put it out there. Or put a baby in the thumbnail. See you tomorrow. Peace.